This presentation covers a range of computing facilities and services for students online and on campus. The presentation is also available as a separate PDF with clickable links. Students can get access to a computer in each of these locations. Due to COVID-19, there will be restrictions on the number of computers available, but check the student computing pages qub.ac.uk forward slash student on a regular basis for the latest information. There may be additional computer facilities within your own school. Your student card is also known as your smart card. Make sure you keep it with you at all times. You need it to gain access to some buildings. For example, you scan it on the turnstile to enter and leave the Maclay Library. If you borrow books, that will be recorded on your card. If you want to print to Queen's, you need to add money to your card. You can also use the money on your card to pay for items in selected cafes and on campus. Only log in using your own username and password. Never allow anyone else to use your login details. Make sure you change your password on a regular basis. Your password should be something that you can easily remember, but you want to make it difficult for others to guess. Familiarise yourself with the IT policies and the acceptable use guide. Queen's Online is a secure online portal, accessible only to staff and students. You can access it from the desktop link on the computers in the student computing areas or open a browser and go to QOL qub.ac.uk. Pay particular attention to the login instructions. Queen's Online will give you access to Office 365. It will also give you access to your email account. This is the link for Canvas, which will bring you into your modules and lecture materials. Click the Smart Card link to add money to your card. Here is your library account where you will see details of any books you have borrowed and any fines you need to pay. You can also renew books from this link. From here, you will have access to the IT and library guides. Canvas is the VLE, the virtual learning environment used at Queen's. Your tutors will put lecture notes, quizzes, assignments, and other materials up on Canvas for you to access and engage with. They may also put links to lectures, but they will speak to you about this and when you need to use Canvas. Click the link for online resources. At the end of this presentation, I'll show you where you can access the video. Office 365 is free for all staff and students at Queen's. There are over 20 apps including Word, Excel, PowerPoint, but also collaboration apps such as Teams and OneDrive. You can use OneDrive to store files, but also share files and folders with others. Some or all of your lectures could be online using Teams. Log in via the link on Queen's Online or from the link at the top of this slide. You will get more information from here and you can also access our training from here. As well as accessing Office 365 through the link on Queen's Online, another way is to open a browser. In this example, I'll use Google Chrome. Go to Queen's homepage and then click search and search for Office 365. Click this first link, which will bring you into the Office 365 web page. From the top link, you can log in to Office 365. The second link will bring you into the staff and student training site for Office 365. So log in using your normal username and password. Now that I've logged in, you can see the full range of apps. There's Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneDrive, there's your OneNote, there's Teams. And then this icon, click on that, will show all apps. 
many of your lectures and tutorials will be online using Microsoft Teams. Most modules will have a team associated with it and some could have a separate tutorial or breakout groups. To get the best functionality when using Teams, download the desktop or mobile app. When I click on Teams, I get access to any Teams I am a member of. So from here, you will access your module Teams and there's a separate team for every module. Up towards the top right, when you click on your initials, you can download the desktop app and you can download the mobile app. By using the desktop or the mobile app, you will have better functionality when using Teams. Also, if you download the desktop or the mobile app, you can then access Teams directly from your computer, laptop or mobile device without having to log in through a browser. This will bring me back to Office 365. You can create files and folders within OneDrive or upload existing files from your computer or device to your OneDrive. They are accessible from anywhere and can be used when you are offline. These are personal to you unless you give someone access. You have the option to give read-only access or permission to edit particular files and folders. Log into the Office training site for more information on how to use your OneDrive. If you need to print or photocopy documents in Queen's, you need to add money to your smart card. To get the best value for money, log into Queen's Online, click the smart card link and add money using a debit or credit card. Another way to add money is by using the cash upload machines, which are located within the print rooms, but this costs more. When you send your documents to the printer, you have three hours to collect them and can do this from any printer in any location. For more information, watch the short video. I'll show you at the end of this presentation where to access the videos. Every student at Queen's has a Queen's email account. Make sure you check it on a regular basis. Don't use any other email account to contact Queen's staff, including your tutors and lecturers, because it doesn't prove you are a Queen's student. We are not obliged to answer student inquiries from non-Queen's email accounts. In fact, the email may be deleted or blocked by Queen's firewall or go into junk mail. If any staff at Queen's needs to contact you, they will only use your Queen's email address. Be courteous, specific in your email correspondence and give details such as your student number and module. If you receive an email that looks as though it has come from Queen's asking you for your login details or to verify your account, do not reply or click on any links within the email. Simply delete it. We would never ask you for this information. If you bring in your own laptop or mobile device and need to connect to Queen's Wi-Fi, select QUB Wi-Fi from the list of available networks. Enter your Queen's student number and password. You may be asked to trust or accept a certificate. Do accept this if prompted. Open a browser and go to Queen's homepage qub.ac.uk and complete your sign on. To get up to date information relating to the library, your timetable, download the mobile app. The app will also allow you access to the Maclay Library if you forget your student card. As well as the computer assistance, you can call at the IT services desk. You can also submit a query via Queen's Online by clicking Request IT Support. Also, check out the student web pages, which I'll show you at the end of this presentation. Social media is a great way to promote your skills and qualifications. Remember, your posts and profile will probably be viewed by prospective employers. Don't post inappropriate content on your account and do show respect for staff and other students. Read the university's social media policy for more information. For up-to-date information, check out the student web pages qub.ac.uk forward slash student. Also, follow us on Facebook and Twitter as we also use social media channels 
for certain key messages. You'll find lots more information on our website, qub.ac.uk forward slash student. Now, there's lots of information towards the top of this page, but I'll just scroll down. Here we have the mobile app. And there's lots of links you can check out in your own time. I'll just move back up to the top. So here we have the guides getting started. And on the left, guides and videos for students we have. There's the IT facilities. This is the video you're currently watching. And below that, you have the PDF with the clickable links. We also have our quick start guide. The first page relates to IT support. Lots of information that I've covered earlier in this presentation. The second page relates to the library facilities, including information on how many books you can borrow. Check that out in your own time. There's lots of short videos. Here on the right, you have some links. There's Canvas, email, there's Office 365. And if I scroll down, you can see here on the left, there's your Canvas video. And on the right, there's lots of short videos that will help you with IT, using the library. I hope you enjoy your studies at Queen's.